So now we've got our formulas all sussed out, we've got a plan, and we decided an early Sunday morning we'd sneak up to the Green Hyth Bridge and make up a cord under the bridge. So we threw a weight off and uh, watched it. It worked perfectly well. <laughs> so now it was Chris's turn to, to jump first. And um, so he took out the old parachute harness from, from the wardrobe from five years before. And uh, he jumped, just missed the water, bounced up, just missed the underside of the bridge and it was perfect. He undid the chute and swam out still had a smile on his face so now it was my turn and um, so I jumped off got the same same rush so we both did another one each and uh, we were so stoked and excited about the whole thing we'd realized that these calculations and theory all actually worked after that and so that's where the story began we're now on a mission looking for bigger, grander sort of places to um, jump. I'd actually seen something on TV showing that Pentecost Islanders jumping from these funny towers with vines. Traditionally they jumped off towers to celebrate the yam harvest and this is where the inspiration of Bungie Ready first came from. We already decided where we were going to jump next which was the Auckland Harbour Bridge which was about 44 metres. Someone had let the cat out of the bag and the cops were notified, thought hey well we're caught anyway and little did we know they thought there was a suicide attempt going on and they blocked all the traffic on the Harbour Bridge. I dived off, Chris did his, we, we both got water touches. Swam across to the deer down and they took us into Auckland. That night we're flying off to, to France and uh, it was a classic departure. When we got to the mountains in France, we soon discovered the Potlakai Bridge. This is 147 metres, so a lot higher than the 80 metre bridges in New Zealand. Just on sunset, rigged it all up, I dived out into space and it was an amazing, amazing buzz, you know, a really, really beautiful gorge. I had a dream of jumping from a cable car into the snow and skiing off. I was able to convince the team ski region to let me have a go. The wind chill factor must have had a, you know, close to minus 20, 25. It was extremely raw. So we had it all set up and uh, I dived out of the cable car from the first jump, ended up hitting the snow big time. Uh, it was like the double punch into the snow to make a nice hole. <laughs> Then I did uh, two more jumps and uh, wrapped it up. It was a really, 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 really nice experience. When, when we first arrived in Paris, we drove past the, the Tour Eiffel, and I thought, wow, that's a really beautiful structure. I'd love to jump off, off this building, you know. The night before jumping from the Eiffel Tower, a team of us went up there, slept for the night. Next morning, I jumped off, and it was really amazing. The jump went perfectly, except I, I missed uh, Sophie by about three metres, so I, I was a little bit upset about that, but really happy to, to pull it off. And then uh, the gendarme came from everywhere. <laughs> they couldn't figure out what was going on at all. And um, the rest is history, really. AJ, do you think that now you're going to have problems with the French police? No, I don't think so. I think that really quite reasonable people and um, I'm sure they'll see it as uh, an inspiration for, for the people of Paris and France and the world. <laughs> the bungee phenomena had really started to take off. When I got back to New Zealand I was asked to jump off the stock exchange building. This was a really dangerous and technical jump which made it all the more exciting and impressive for the many thousands of people that were gathered around the property to look. 
1988, Henry and I opened the world's first full-time commercial bungee site in Queenstown, New Zealand, at the Kalrau Bridge. I uh, discovered on the very first jump that I did personally that uh, we were onto something incredibly special. I thought, well, I'm, I'm surely I'm not unique. For me, right from the beginning, it was about what's going on from the shoulders up, not the shoulders down. So it wasn't about having big muscles or big balls or anything like that. It was actually about uh, having having uh, some focus and, and spirit in your mind. quickly opened up sites around the world and I did a few other extreme jumps in some really cool places. Hey, well, I really hope you've enjoyed uh, our story. It's been an amazing, amazing run. And uh, if you're anywhere near one of our sites, just pop in and see us and enjoy uh, stretching your mind. Thank you.